As Logan Sargent gears up for his highly anticipated debut in Formula 1, American motorsport fans are eagerly waiting to see if he can make history and become the first true American F1 superstar in the modern era. So let's take a look at the rise of Logan Sargent to the pinnacle of motorsport. Logan Sargent was born on the cusp of a new century, or New Year's Eve in 2000 in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Growing up in a family with a rich motorsports heritage, it was only a matter of time before Logan followed in the footsteps of his older brother and NASCAR Truck Series driver Dalton Sargent. But it's not just his brother that has racing in his blood. Logan is also the nephew of Harry Sargent III, a well-known energy and shipping magnate. With a family history steeped in motorsports and business acumen, Logan has the perfect blend of passion and determination to take on the world's most elite motorsports series. Growing up in the sunny state of Florida, Logan honed his skills on the karting circuit before making the leap to Europe to contest in junior championships. Through countless grueling races and intense battles on the track, Logan proved himself to be a force to be reckoned with. And in 2015, his hard work paid off when he emerged victorious, claiming the Junior Karting World Championship title. As soon as Logan claimed the coveted title of Junior Karting World Champion, the motorsports world began to notice the young star. Not only had he proven himself to be a fierce competitor on the track, but he'd also made history as the first American to win the FIA's highest junior karting prize since the 1970s. With this impressive accomplishment under his belt, Logan jumped into single-seater car racing. In late 2016, he made his debut in Formula 4, a stepping stone to bridge the gap between karting and car racing. But Logan didn't just make the transition to F4, he thrived in it. He had 15 podiums in 18 races during his first season. After excelling in British F4 with a third place finish in his rookie campaign, he graduated through multiple European championships before reaching FIA Formula 3 in 2019. As he honed his skills in his first F3 season, he took the most top 10 finishes among his teammates and at the prestigious Macau Grand Prix, which is considered the Formula 3 version of the Super Bowl, he advanced through the field to take a spectacular podium finish. But it was in 2020 when Logan truly shone, racing in a car that was more similar to F1 cars thanks to F3's higher power and aerodynamic grip. In a condensed season due to the pandemic, he dueled with a highly rated Oscar Piastri in a season-long title fight where the two continuously swapped the championship lead back and forth. It was a heartbreaking moment for Logan when a first lap incident in the season's final race cost him the chance to score points and what would likely have been the 2020 Formula 3 title. However, Logan didn't let that defeat him. Sargent's career looked in danger of stalling out due to financial reasons as he ended up having to stay in Formula 3 for another season in 2021, this time with a little fancied Cheru squad. But Sargent proved a sensation, scoring points at 15 of 21 races, scoring podiums, and even securing Cheru's first victory in F3. He finished in an impressive seventh position in the standings. His impressive performances in the 2020 and 2021 F3 seasons caught the attention of one of the most prestigious teams in Formula 1, Williams. In October 2021, Logan was offered a spot in the Williams Driver Academy, and he jumped at the opportunity. With the might of an F1 team now behind him, Logan was ready to take on the world's toughest and most talented drivers. He took part in the F1 Young Driver Test with Williams in Abu Dhabi at the end of the season. But Logan's upward momentum didn't stop there. He was given a chance to make his Formula 2 debut with HWA Race Lab before the end of the season, although the outcome wasn't as spectacular as he would have hoped. But his impressive performances caught the attention of Carlin, one of the top teams in Formula 2, and they offered him a full-time seat for the 2022 season. Logan's 2022 season blew us all away. From the moment the season began, he took the Formula 2 world by storm. In Spain, he took a sprint race P3, setting the tone for his podium-reaching ways. He added to his trophy cabinet with a second-place finish at his first-ever race weekend at the prestigious Baku City Circuit. But Logan's true moment of glory came at Silverstone, the site of his first Formula 3 win. He dominated qualifying, topping the timesheets throughout and taking a maiden F2 pole position in a commanding fashion. 
and he didn't let up in the race, leading from start to finish in a true showcase of his raw talent and competitive spirit. His winning streak continued just seven days later in Austria. Despite the challenging, damp conditions, Logan qualified in P3 on Friday. But on Sunday, the track dried out quickly, allowing those further back who gamble by starting on slicks to surge through before Logan and the initial frontrunners can make their mandatory pit stop. Dropping to P14 after pitting, the American stormed through the field, displaying incredible skill and determination to eventually finish where he had started, only for penalties to be applied to the two immediately ahead of him, giving Logan another feature race victory. His good streak continued to Le Castillet, where he secured pole position, but no more podiums would follow in 2022. But with the eyes of the motorsport world on him at the season finale in Abu Dhabi, Logan delivered an amazing performance in that race, not only locking in his status as rookie of the season, but also delivering him enough super license points for a full-time drive in Formula 1. Not long after, Williams announced him as Alex Albon's teammate for 2023, making him the third member of the Williams Driver Academy to make it to F1, following in the footsteps of Nicholas Latifi and Lance Stroll. So what should Americans and other F1 fans expect of Sargent in his first Formula 1 season? Well, to get a sense of a baseline expectation, it's worth comparing him to the man he's replacing, Nicholas Latifi. In Latifi's first full season in Formula 2, then GP2, he bagged a single podium and finished 16th out of 26 drivers. Prior to that, he had one season in Italian Formula 3 and two full seasons worth of experience in FIA Formula 3 races. This is roughly the same amount of time Sargent had in the series before his jump to F2. But in his first full F2 season, the new Williams man bagged two feature race wins, a feature race podium and a sprint race podium. It's hard to say if Sargent will immediately do better than Latifi in his first F1 season, as F1 is a whole different beast than F2. Sargent may need some time to adjust to the F1 level, but with his impressive results in F2, he's shown that he has the potential to do well and make an impact. He's proven to be able to adapt to new challenges and excel under pressure. Since 2020, Williams has undergone multiple changes in ownership and development leadership following the sale of the team. This has caused instability and uncertainty within the team, making it difficult for them to focus on developing a competitive car. Adding to the turmoil, Jos Capito, the team principal, announced that he'd be stepping down from his role, further disrupting the team's development process. Now, in each of the last three seasons, Williams has finished in the bottom three in the Constructors' Championship, including two seasons where they finished last. This has made it difficult for Williams to compete at the front of the pack and has put a lot of pressure on the team to deliver a competitive car for the upcoming season. This situation presents a significant challenge for Sargent, as he'll be entering F1 in a team that has struggled to compete in recent years. It'll be interesting to see how Sargent adapts to this new challenge and how he works with the team to improve the car's performance. As Logan Sargent prepares to make his debut in Formula 1 with Williams, fans shouldn't expect him to break the record of four wins in a rookie season set by Lewis Hamilton with McLaren in 2007. Instead of expecting Sargent to break records in his first season, fans should expect him to use this season as an opportunity to set a baseline for any future success. This means focusing on learning the ins and outs of the F1 car, adjusting to the unique demands of the F1 circuit, and working closely with his team to improve the car's performance. So, what are your thoughts on Logan Sargent's debut Formula 1 season? Will he be able to replicate the success he had in the Junior Series? Let us know what you think in the comments down below. Now, if you enjoyed the video, please make sure to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to be notified of our next uploads. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you again soon.